fatal injuries. She was pronounced 11:44 deceased. Time he was pronounced. All who was deceased was pronounced. She was non-responsive. Captain William Melendez, Station 7 on B Division, San Diego Fire Rescue Department. Uh, we were dispatched shortly after 1. Uh, we found a vehicle into a, uh, into a pole. It's a uh, utility, utility line. The car was wrapped around the, the pole on the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, when we got here, we were able to open up uh, the passenger side door, but we weren't able to gain access to the patients. Um, it, this was a rescue response with a one engine, a truck, rescue four, and a BC. Uh, upon rescue four's arrival, we removed the roof and we extricated the vehicle from the pole itself to gain access to the driver's side. Um, at, what, at which point we determined this was an 1144. About an, about an hour ago, we had a vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed. Um, he was traveling uh, westbound on uh, national uh, witnesses, uh, estimated his speed at, at in excess of 100 miles an hour. He uh, tried to negotiate this turn here at 26th the National, uh, lost control of the vehicle, uh, slid up onto the, uh, the sidewalk and hit a uh, telephone pole. Um, fire uh, rescue responded along with uh, police personnel. Uh, fire rescue, uh, it took them about 20 minutes to uh, extricate him from the vehicle. Uh, once outside the vehicle, they began their uh, physical assessment, at which time he was pronounced dead. Uh, the California Highway Patrol out of El Cajon. Uh, at close to 3 o'clock this morning, we received a 911 call of a body or an item that was down in the roadway. Uh, upon our arrival, we had a witness who had stopped at the scene, and we found a approximate uh, white male adult in his early 20s who apparently had been struck by a vehicle who was deceased. Uh, no, sir, not at this time. Uh, we believe that he was a pedestrian based on the statements of the witnesses who had passed him by earlier. Um, Search is ongoing in the area to see if we can locate any vehicles or anyone related to the to the incident. But at this time, we've not found any suspects. The vehicles. Okay, uh, Christina Wallace, Battalion Chief for Valley Center Fire Protection District, Cal Fire. The responding units from Deer Springs and Valley Center found a two-car traffic accident on uh, Old Castle Road. There were two people involved in the accident, one in each vehicle. One uh, person was pronounced uh, at the scene. The other was taken to a nearby hospital, Palomar Hospital Trauma Center. No ground transport. The California Highway Patrol, I'm out of the Oceanside Area Office. All right, we uh, responded from uh, southbound 15 at the 76 to a two-car vehicle crash here on Old Castle. Looks like it's about two miles east of Champaign Boulevard. Uh, we arrived on scene two vehicles, looked like a broadside. Looks like the Mercedes had hit the white Nissan Altima on the passenger side. Uh, speed. Uh, is approximation probably about 50 miles an hour, not too many skids. Um, it's a solo occupants in both vehicles, approximately 60 years age female and a six, uh, 30 year old uh, Asian female. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like both have uh, deceased. Uh, no alcohol in my, my knowledge right now. 
So it's just a, one of those uh, accidents and it's unfortunate. Um, but as uh, far as the skid marks and braking speed doesn't seem to be a play. It just seems like somebody's in the wrong side of the lane when they shouldn't have been. Officer, Officer Gil Ochoa, uh, Oceanside CHP. Well, around a little after 4 o'clock this morning, uh, we received calls of a pedestrian on uh, southbound 5 in the area of Harbor Drive. Uh, a, moment, a few mo minutes later, we received a call that uh, there was a collision involving a uh, pedestrian in the, at the same location. A couple of units, uh, CHP units, responded to the scene and found uh, we found that a pedestrian was in fact uh, struck uh, by an unknown vehicle. Pedestrians sus sustained uh, fatal injuries from the collision. Uh, we later located uh, a vehicle that was involved in the collision and uh, spoke with the driver as well. Uh, the rest right now is really uh, under investigation to help clarify a lot of uh, issues surrounding the collision. So far we only have enough information to confirm that was, there was one vehicle. We don't know if maybe somebody else saw him walking uh, from either south or north of here. The collision is located on the northbound 5 uh, portion of the roadway, pretty much right over Harbor Drive here. If anybody wants to give us a call on Officer Eric Newberry, our public affairs officer at the Oceanside CHP office, uh, area code 760-757-1675.